Hello, my name is Axel, and today I'm going to speak about a company called Clarion. So, the adventure starts in 1995. The chemical division of a Swiss pharmaceutical company called Sandos will spin off to form Clarion. Sandos will later become Novartis. So, Clarion focuses on four areas from the beginning care chemicals, catalysis, natural resources, plastics, and coatings. And the years after their creation, uh, they are going to do many acquisitions. In 2009, starts a phase of internal restructuring. So the four divisions will be converted into 11 business units. And all the small and unprofitable operations will be shut down and the company moves into a new headquarters. In 2012, it's time for change. So. Clarion decides to invest in their own innovation and sustainability. So they built an innovation center and a bioethanol plant. And in 2015, they decide to hire an additional 1,100 employees to work in those R&D operations. In 2017, they launched a new business unit in France to focus on cosmetics and on naturally sourced ingredients. And in the same year, they also have the intention to merge the company with another company called Huntsman. So the new company would have been called Huntsman Clarion. It would have been a $20 billion deal. And I think the shareholders of uh, Clarion would own 52% and the shareholders of Huntsman would own 48% of the new company. However, according to Swiss law, you need a two third majority to approve this deal. And there's one shareholder of Clarion who is going to oppose that deal. So in the year after, in 2018, that shareholder will sell its 24.99% uh, shares of Clarion to um, a chemical company from Saudi Arabia called Savic. And immediately after the deal, Savic and Clarion uh, sign a long-term strategic partnership to, um, to create a joint venture to produce high performance materials. However, the year after 2019 and 2020 will not be good for Clarion. So due to the unfavorable market conditions, uh, Clarion and, and Sabic decide to suspend that joint venture. And the same year, the CEO will resign also, the CEO of Clarion. And if we look at their financial results, well, their profits were down uh, by 90%. And Clarion also announced that they will fire 600 people. So when we look at their sustainable uh, portfolio or bioplastics, they have three partnerships. First of all, a partnership with Neste, who will supply them with uh, bio-based feedstock. Then they have a, a partnership with Polymateria to uh, commercialize bioplastics in Asia. And then they have a partnership with Florion to develop uh, high-performance um, biopolymers. And if we look at Clarion, they will probably go into the direction of bio-based uh, adhesives, additives, colors, pigments, and detergent chemicals. So today the company still has the ambition to become the largest specialty chemical company. And they are still based in Switzerland, and their turnover in 2018 was around 6.2 billion euros. And they had that same year around 17,000 to 18,000 employees. Today, if we can have a, or if we can conclude, I think um, Clarion inherited um, assets from Sandos and they acquired um, businesses through uh, acquisitions. And that explained partially their growth. But to some extent, they were unable to prove themselves, unable to develop their own products and technology, unable to write their own story. So we still have to be convinced. That's it, folks. Thank you for watching.